Hi, my name is Ed Ludwig from La Crosse, Wisconsin. And I'm Jennifer Voigt, also from La Crosse, Wisconsin. Okay, and where do both of you live and uh, teach? Um, I teach in La Crosse Public Schools. I'm a first grade teacher at Hamilton Elementary School. And you live? And I live in La Crosse, okay. St. Joseph I teach. And I do as well. I live in La Crosse and I teach at uh, Central High School in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Okay, and um, being here at the RA, there's lots of issues that come up. Are there any issues that you feel really connect to Wisconsin and or to La Crosse? Um, um, I'm a state contact to New Hampshire, and it was very interesting to me to go and talk to my New Hampshire uh, state contact who was doing with collective bargaining laws, and we were finding basically the same battle that we, we fought in Wisconsin over the last year, and they were able to keep collective bargaining in their state. So to talk to that person was a really emotional response, and also when uh, the Texas delegation, over uh, 150 people from Texas, came into our Wisconsin delegate area and gave us some cards of personal support and uh, donuts. That was a very emotional moment for me. Not because I like donuts, but because uh, it brought up a lot of issues. And uh, to know that there's teachers from all over the nation who are supporting us and support teachers from other sections of the nation was very, very, very moving. Okay. And why do you feel that it's important then to continue uh, your membership and to continue to be active as a member of both the national, state, and local, and UNISERV level of your union? I, I think at it, it first for me when I was dealing with this question because I kind of with a group of other people dealt with membership drive in my building and it just seems so obvious to me why you want to be part of this because I've always believed in it but um, when you think about it and the power of people coming together uh, and if you want things to happen in your profession who better to speak to them than us together making these decisions and I remind people that you know, it's unfortunate that the word union has been demonized in our state, across the country, um, as this negative thing when really this is our professional organization. It's not just about union thugs and, and you know, I, I, so it's, it's, it's bigger than that. It's, it's, it is our professional organization and this is a profession. And it's unfortunate, I think, some people um, when we're exposed to this negative media, I think teachers start to kind of not view this as a profession, like this is my job. It's not, it's your vocation. Um, so. I think also, yeah, that, that the organization union is really, really important. We live in a union of states. That's what the great United States begins with. It. And really, what a union is, and it's in its most basic form, is a group of people getting together, the electing leaders to represent them in a situation. And that's exactly what America is. And to me, to see the democracy that goes on at this meeting is, is incredible. To see 8,000 people get together and, and debate and go back and forth on an issue and come to a decision is, is truly something marvelous. And so it's democracy in action. So. It's exhausting, but it's inspiring. It's, there's just nothing like this. And so that, that same thing happens at the local level and the, uh, the regional level in Wisconsin and at the state level. And uh, yeah, it takes some time and it takes some effort and some involvement, but uh, the, the result is uh, we have a profession and we have a group of people who are advocating for this. And even though in the past not many people are involved in that or not a high percentage, uh, if you take the time to do it, I believe 